In this tutorial, we create a simple print job using Dynamic PDF Print Manager to print a PDF document. Open Visual Studio and create a new project. Select ConsoleApp.NET Core C Sharp to create a new C Sharp Core console application. Now let's name it Print Example. Okay, right click on the project and select Manage NuGet Packages. Click Browse. Find CETE Dynamic PDF .printing .net Package, then let's select it. Be sure you don't select the x86 or x64, those packages are deprecated. Click Install. And after it's installed, return to program.cs. Now let's add some code. But first, add the using statement CETE dynamic PDF.printing. Now let's add code to the main method. Start by removing the hello world code. Before we create the print job, let's create a string variable for the file path. Now in this example, I have a file on my hard drive named simple-report.pdf. I put that in my simple-print-example folder on my hard drive. Create a new print job class instance. Now in the constructor, add, a add the default printer and the file path. Ensure you've specified a default printer in Windows or you'll receive an error. Now add the print method to the newly created print job object instance. Now let's run the application. and the document prints. Printing using Dynamic PDF Manager is that easy. Of course, there's much more you can do using Dynamic PDF Print Manager. For example, you could print to a network printer, specify options such as duplex printing or collation. You could print from a byte array. You can even send a PDF as a fax. For more information, refer to the Dynamic PDF Print Manager website, or refer to the Dynamic PDF Print Manager help documentation online. Of course, feel free to go to our support page if you need more customer support. I'm James reminding you, when you think PDF, think Dynamic PDF.